Hi everyone, you have seen me use the ink tense blocks a couple of times for a couple of uh, small um, landscape like paintings. But the real reasons I bought these ink tense blocks because because I wanted to try it on fabric. So I'm going to try uh, the ink tense today first time on a t-shirt and paint a simple uh, minion painting. Uh, apart from the ink tense blocks, I also need a fabric medium. Uh, it's probably not absolutely necessary uh, because ink tents are water soluble but i think it would make it a little bit more permanent and that's why the fabric medium by the way all the materials that i have used are linked below in the video description to check it out if you have uh, any questions regarding the me medium or anything that i've used i have a 12 piece set of ink tents blocks which is all good but I recommend a 24 piece set because the 12 piece does not have a white and you would require the white if you want to do anything a little bit um, more detailed or any, anything of that sort. white is important so I recommend buying a 24 piece tin um, anyways on to the t-shirt this is a very simple white cotton t-shirt uh, that I got for my son and uh, what you need to do before you start painting is obviously you get the drawing done and then in between the two sides of the t-shirt you need to insert some uh, thick sheets of paper or some cardboard like I did over here so that when you paint on one side the color does not seep through to the other side and make the back side um, dirty so that's the whole point of this cardboard uh, that I inserted and then I start on the painting by the way when I did the drawing I used some water soluble um, graph graphite pencils the reason I did this is so that uh, when I paint on it it uh, kind of uh, dissolves into the paint and does not leave any bad marks because I chose to directly freehand the drawing on the painting if you're not comfortable freehanding the drawing on the on the surface of your cloth then definitely draw it out on a different sheet of paper and then trace it on your fabric so on to the actual minion painting I started with the yellow this I, I love this bright yellow color whether it is watercolor or ink tents or any medium I, I'm not a big fan of yellow when it comes to you know choosing clothes or anything or you know furnishings in my house but when painting I love this cadmium yellow color but so and uh, uh, thankfully minion has a lot of yellow in his body so I painted the, all the areas that has the yellow just this plain yellow and then I'm shading one of the sides kind of like a, a creating an edge by adding a little bit of uh, orange so how I'm doing the entire set is that if you see the little cap that I have next to me I have poured down some intense medium in it and instead of dipping into water I'm dipping into the fabric medium to get the paint uh, intense to dissolve now a word of caution is that the fabric medium does not do a great job as great job as water does on ink tents for dissolving and making it fluid so if you have problems just using the fabric medium what I suggest is just add some water on the block first get it a little bit dissolvy or like you know um, in a kind of uh, the, get the surface wet and then add the fabric medium now I don't know if you can just use water and that would be permanent on fabric but I know that if you use fabric medium it will definitely be permanent on fabric because when you try washing the t-shirt you don't want all the colors flowing everywhere so that's why I use the fabric medium but I'm also going to try some things uh, doing some things without the fabric medium and then wash it out and find out well at this point I am not really sure how good uh, like it would work with or without the fabric medium I will have to kind of experiment so this is kind of my first try using ink tents and I just wanted to check out whether I can use ink tents uh, for painting on fabric because you know your usual acrylic paints you cannot you you can use it on fabric but then you have to use the fabric medium with it and not water because otherwise it will kind of uh, um, break off or uh, flake off when you try to wash it 
so i wanted to see if in ink tense would be a better option to working on fabric and this is my first try i will have to wash this t-shirt and do a lot of other experiments before i recommend ink tense use on fabric but as far as the painting is concerned you can see that it's going very smoothly i i am having no problems getting shading details and all that i frankly i chose a very simple subject i chose a animation car her character as simple as a minion just to make my life easy and make sure it, it i don't like boggle down on the painting part so much um, before i understand the medium and its use on fabric properly and uh, minion is one of my son's favorite cartoon characters so it was kind of an easy choice and an obvious choice for me and it worked out pretty well i had no problems as far as you know putting paint on the fabric or uh you know getting colors mixed uh, or you know making some changes if required like you can see around the eyes and the goggles part i painted it pretty dark black i did not want that dark a gray shade and it was very easy to add some uh, white on top of it and kind of make it a lighter shade of gray later so making corrections was also possible which is definitely a plus i made a lot of mistakes on this because this was my first try like i mentioned many times before using intense and fabric and that's why i chose a very simple project because i just wanted to try it out and see if it at all works as far as the painting part is concerned it works for sure no problems at all but i'll have to do the other test to see whether it lasts long what happens when it washes and you know what all changes i need to make to make it to work even better so i guess there are more um, videos on intense on fabric coming up in future with more details but for now it was just a simple painting um, for your information my son loved this painting and he was very sporting about it and if you like this video give me a thumbs up it means the whole world to me any questions share it in the comments any thoughts share it in the comments your comments again mean the whole world to me that's why i do these tutorials so um, please uh, make sure you comment and like and subscribe to my channel thank you